start the show. Hi, Kate. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you today? I'm good. I'm so happy to have you back on the vlog finally. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's been a whirlwind for you. You've had a lot of stuff happening in the last year. So why don't you kind of tell everybody um, what you've been doing, what you've been up to? Well, um, I guess primarily I've been having babies. Um, <laughs> that's taken up a good chunk of time. I had a baby last year. His name's Oliver. He's about 10 months old now. And we have another one coming in August, our fourth boy. <laughs> so Yay, we're really excited. Congratulations. We have a really, you know, boy tribe here at our house. And I will obviously not have any reason to stray from all my boy knitting designing. <laughs> yes, we like that because you're so, my favorite out there. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, and aside from that, I put out um, a book, like my first hardcover book. So uh -huh. it's called Knitting Clothes Kids Love. Yes. It's really cute. I'm really proud of it. It's got 25 kid accessory projects in it. And that came out in January. Um, and then I just put out another little booklet top for another year, which is really the same thing as top for a year, only 12 different patterns. Right. Um, and then, of course, lots of single patterns have come out in the past year. I'm working on um, another, I'm going to be starting something really new in the next couple months, which I can't sit, discuss about yet, but it's um, actually like a, it's definitely in my, like it's what I do, but it's it's outside of Tot Toppers, so it'll oh, be okay. really excited for when I get to share all the news about that, so it's going to be really awesome, and it's going to be a really neat opportunity for me, I'm excited about it, so. Oh, when is that? That, um, I think we'll be able to go public about that probably within like by May or June. Oh, fine. So, so soon. Yay. Yeah, pretty soon, pretty soon, but it's been kind of in the works for a little while. And then hopefully I'll also be doing another book in the next couple of years. So I've got that all outlined and sketched out. We're just working out, you know, yeah. which publisher and all that kind of stuff. Very nice. Is it difficult to put together books? Was it, was there something in the process that you didn't realize came with the whole bookmaking part? Um, not really, actually. I mean, I, I guess, I mean, obviously it's more writing than mm -hmm. when you're writing a pattern because there's, you know, a section of introduction and those kind of right. things. But I've, uh, I did a dissertation, so I've done writing before. <laughs> um, yeah. So the writing was really, and it's much less writing than in a dissertation. So um, okay. I found it to be pretty straightforward, and um, I had a, I had pretty good experience with my publisher. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really excited at how it turned out, and the pictures are really cute. That was the hardest thing for me was it's for the first time I wasn't involved in um, taking any of the pictures. Oh yeah, I don't I don't take my own pictures, but of course right. I'm at a photo shoot, and mm -hmm. it's my kids usually modeling things. So. Right. Um, this time I had to send them away to California to a photographer that the publisher chose and just kind of sit back and watch what they picked. So that was a little difficult for me, but yeah. it turned out really well. It yeah, turned out well. That's cool. But I'm, I'm, you know, being a control freak, I didn't, that wasn't, that wasn't my favorite part, having to let go of that. Right. But I think worked. that would kind of, yeah, it's like sending your babies off. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> And I didn't even know, I actually did get them all back. I didn't even realize I was going to get them back. So now I'm going to be doing some trunk shows with some chaps that are carrying the book. So that'll be fun too. That's great. Very good. And it's a hardcover book, right? It is. Do you want to yeah, show it, hold cover. it up again? It's 25 projects. Mm -hmm. um, and there is at least half of these are unisex or for boys. Ooh, it's spiral so, bound on the inside too. Spiral I bound. Love yeah. That. So it will lay flat and lay open. Um, one of the things that I love about it um, is that I did a stitch dictionary for um, all the patterns because there's a lot of color work. There's color work and a lot of cabling. Uh -huh. So there's stitch dictionaries for each. So I've written it so that the patterns are interchangeable as far as the stitch patterns are used. Oh, fun. So like the socks that are on the cover, you could use like any number of stitch patterns uh -huh. to actually do those in the book. So that, that oh, I thought was a cool. really neat little touch that we did. So. Yeah, I, I like that. You're really great at cables and all that color work. That's, I mean, that's your thing. I do. I like, I like, I would have to say cable. I don't know. Cables. I go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> so one of those two things is my favorite. I just don't know which one it is. <laughs> I'll tell you what's not my favorite is lace knitting. Not my favorite. Oh, uh, boo. I still no. do it sometimes. It's just not my favorite, you know? No, that's okay. fine. Yeah. That's fine. It, you guys can't all love lace. That's right. That's right. And that's probably, you know, I've never knit a shawl or anything like that. So yeah. That would explain it. 
Yes, that would explain it. So why don't you, talking about cables, you have the brand new morning coffee cardigan that just came out, yeah. and the whole reason you're here. <laughs> yes, yes, that was um, a really fun project. I have a sweater at home um, that has, it's kind of like always been my favorite sweater. You know, it's from like The Gap or something, totally unexciting. But for a while now, I've been like, okay, what can I, like, I want to make a sweater that I love even more than this sweater. Uh -huh. What is it about my sweater that I like and all this kind of stuff? And so one of the things was it had this super cozy collar. Mm -hmm. um, another part of it was it was it's like a pretty casual sweater, but not like the kind, not like a hoodie where you would feel like I felt right. like I could throw it on on top of something if I wanted to be casual or whatever. So that was another thing I was going for. I wanted something to be pretty versatile. Like you could throw this on when you're going to get your kids from school in the afternoon if you need to just grab something real quick. Uh -huh. But you could also dress it up and, you know, make it maybe not like an evening out, but, um, you know, it could look nice with right. some old boots or something like that. So, um, so yeah, I came up with morning coffee. Um, and I, Lauren's Laces was looking for some designs, uh, with a new yarn that they had coming out. So it was really good timing. They loved the idea. Mm -hmm. So I started working on it and um, it's got the cabling in it is um, it's it's neat. It's like the cables kind of sit on yeah. top of each other on the front. I was going to I was going to ask you about the cabling cuz it's so pretty and the way you placed it on the sweater too along the side panels and stuff. Yes. So yeah, that was in, so that and that is not in my sweater that I really like. I was like, uh -huh. okay, waist shaping is flattering for everyone, everyone, and having the little cable there at the side just really draws your eye in. And you know, I've had babies, having another baby, so I don't exactly have a flat mid midsection, and I feel a lot more comfortable in something that's you. either belted or comes in at the yeah. waist. So um, so yeah, when I that actually happened, like I had already knit all the way. I think I had already started the sleeves even and I was like oh my gosh I was I knew I was gonna do waist shaping but as far as adding that little cable on the side so I was like I have to do it's that awesome <laughs> that's my favorite so, feature that and the really neat collar on the sweater too yeah yeah so the cabling so go, yeah so it goes down twist at the side and then there's a couple cable panels on the back and the back panels are different than the front panels I just like to kind of throw in some different things there um yeah. and then yes the collar um, is, is knit, it's doubled over, which helps it to stand up straight. Right. So you can actually cast on a separate piece to knit the collar. You knit it and then you did it double width and there's a seam era, uh, you know, a Three turning row or whatever. Um, and then you are able to seamlessly join it, um, to each other and then to the sweater itself. Right. So it's yeah, it's, it's, it's knit from the top it's down. Neat. It is knit from the top down. And that was another thing that my, when I sent the pattern to my tech editor, she was like, um, you know that this make doing this top down makes it way more difficult, right? Or not difficult to knit, but makes it way more difficult to write up. And why don't we just switch it? You know, we can switch everything and go from the bottom up. It'll be so much easier. And yeah. I was like, well, I just really want it to be top down. So she's yeah, like, okay. I love top down. Yeah. Because as so, you're knitting it, you can try it on. That's right, just... right. And I think as far as like the waist shaping goes, I mean, to get really to have it at the exact right place, right. you need to be able to try it on. And because mm -hmm. you don't want the, you don't want that cable to hit you at like way too low or way too high. It's just right. awful. So, um, so I was really pretty stuck about having, keeping it top down, which does mean that the pattern has charts. Um, uh -huh. The increases are done in chart because you have to increase and also be like creating the cabled areas. So, right. cause you actually start cable or you're done increasing. So I will say that probably knocked up maybe the experience level necessary to knit it by a notch. Right. But like I said, I think it's worth it. I think it um, turned out and I'm really excited. I've already seen at least one finished cardigan on Ravelry and the person said it fits like a glove. It's the best Yay. thing to have. So that always feels really That's good to good hear. Comment.